Hi guys, just want to talk about the defense mechanism because this is where a lot of this problem comes from. Um, you go, I'm not trying to say you guys haven't been in these scenarios, but it, I used to do a lot of stuff with government organizations that have a lot of the feminist and socialist people within it. Um, a lot of the control of decision making in local authorities and stuff is because they're predominantly socialism. They have pushed it that way over a long period of time and have control over a lot of things um, that people may not be aware of. Um, but the, the point being is, it's like a, I went into a meeting relating to the fail, failings of a non-profit organization um, that was, well, basically a government organization because it inherited government employees, it used to be government owned and at the same time become a new entity for tax reasons and one of the things that a lot of people aren't aware, this is around social housing, councils have an obligation to keep people in their properties, house associations don't, that's the main difference between the two, they do not have to keep you there. Councils are legally bound to keep people in there that don't pay rent and stuff. That's what's one of the fundamental differences between the two. But anyway, so it's been losing money for a long period of time. This is why I was there. They brought me in to find out why the, the business is losing money and I analyzed everything. And I went through and I fixed a lot of stuff. And a lot of this stuff was ongoing. Some of it was really stupid, but at the same time, it was an ongoing problem. There was a meeting called because it had gone from debt to uh, being not only non-profit in the sense that it's not supposed to show a profit, but we actually were in profit because I actually turned the entire business around. And okay, it's not <laughs> supposed to be in profit, but it was already over overspending by half a million pounds a year. So even though it was now in profit per month of about 12,000 pounds, it's still gonna take a bit of time to recover the money it lost over the last couple of years. So one of the things I wanna bring up on this was the meeting. So I've gone into this meeting um, to basically tell them what is wrong with the business and why it loses money. As soon as we enter the door, a social worker opens with, we're not in it. we don't have a blame culture here, we're not here to blame anybody. Because they already knew they were the problem. They already knew from the beginning. Because they don't work on money. They, they will like sit and shout in your face and stuff, demanding that some drug addict or whatever gets better housing than somebody who's been waiting on the housing list for five years. And on top of that, bearing in mind that the house they're in is being destroyed by them. It, it, this is the sort of thing you're up against with a lot of these people in this socialism environment. Um, and a lot of that gets hidden. A lot of that gets hidden from the media. But it also means, um, it's like the video I did relating to UK immigration separating children from parents. Somebody already commented straight away on the defensive. It wasn't out of spy. These people have DNA, may not have the same DNA. They may, 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 may. Missed all the fact. The fact is, they are separating them from the children. That's it. But this is what happens. When you start challenging things, they will move it in a completely different route and ignore the actual thing you asked or said. In that case, they are separating children from parents, and they are doing it at nearly what nearly 200 families a year, and some of those are permanently never going to see their parents again. And at the same time, I'm being told that some people are devious and this and that, rather well, than actually turn around and say, "Yes, it is happening," and why isn't more being done to actually identify these sort of things? DNA tests can be done very quickly, for example. But at the same time, putting them in care doesn't really get them back to their real parents either, does it? But that's a prime example. I've just actually turned around and said, well, if you say that's true, why, why isn't more being done to get them back to their parents? 
But the point is we've now moved away from the fact that this is actually happening in the first place. They are removing children from their parents. Because that is what the focus is on. But I find in socialism, you'll see they steer it miles away from it and often won't even confront the question. If you watch things like Question Time in the UK, watch how they answer the questions. A lot of time, they don't. They will steer in a completely different direction, they will go in the defensive, they will turn around and try and say, well, you're, you do this, rather than actually saying, yeah, we're, you're right, we, are, we did do that wrong. They will actually try and ignore the question in many, many cases. Um, and myself, this is what I find people peculiar relate to socialism. Because a lot of the time they're claiming and complaining about rights and the 1% of the problem in the UK and all this sort of stuff. Yet at the same time, why, why do they assume they deserve more? And why do they, do they deserve it from others? That's my big issue with it. Because that is what feeds everything else relating to things like MGTOW being developed. Because these people want to live off you. When you come out of a relationship, these people want your ex-partner to live off you for the rest of her life. These people want you fundamentally to pay for everything and just shut up and put up. And when you argue, you're just a sad individual, blah, blah, blah. Why is that? Because you can't confront the questions. You can't turn around and say this legal system is not correct. I mean, in most cases, this is the reality. Reality is, a lot of these problems come from the old days. The old days when a husband may be the guy down at the pub and would spend his money there from Friday and not have anything for Monday. But that's probably about 100 years ago. The average guy today has no control over his money anyway. You've got child support agencies that can access your bank. You've got, you've got government bodies that are taking it direct, directly from source, tax, whatever. They've got access to everything. Everything's tied together. At the same time, do you really need to be uh, penalizing people for relationships, knowing full well the problem is a lot of the women on this will never have a job? Because at the end of the day, if they weren't married, very likely they would be on benefits. All it's doing is saying the man is responsible for somebody that he's got rid of because she wouldn't work or she wasn't a good wife or whatever. At the same time, he has become obligated for this individual. But nobody covers that fact. It's about you're responsible, you were, you, that, it's, it's part of the divorce process. It's a, that's just accept, just accept it that you are responsible for this person for the rest of her life and were responsible the whole time you were married. Just accept it. There is no challenge there. They're, they're not engaging with you about it. They're not saying, is this fair or unfair? They're avoiding the question. They're not engaging with people about it. They have set it up to ignore you. And this is why they don't like things like MGTOW, because MGTOW is doing exactly the same. It's ignoring them. It's not getting into it. It's avoiding that scenario. It's understanding these things will go wrong. Quite simply, here, keep that. I'm not getting into it. And that's why you get a bit of a backlash. This is why I've, I mentioned before, feminists don't like MGTOW. And they'll push it as anti-woman or whatever. But it's actually recognizing the faults out there and simply going, you know what? The same way they do the same way they do. But the difference is, it's inward, not outward. Theirs is an agenda-based thing. They push, and then once they get that, they push further. And once they got that, they push further. Mikta is simply saying, you know what, keep it. Do you want to do all that? Fine. I don't have to hear it. I don't need to get involved in it. It's separating from it. But the big problem you have, and like I said, well, I find it predominantly in socialism, is they will not listen. Will not listen at all. They will deflect. They will avoid the question. They will not confront the realities that 
A lot of this is dismantled the family unit, dismantled the value of marriage, dismantled the value of men. Let's face it, they've devalued the value of men. At the same time, has it got any positive impact? No. Because the thing with people that are on benefits is they are always going to be on benefits unless they decide to change. There's nothing really forcing them. And often they may not have anything that anybody wants. They may be as dumb as they come. They may have no opportunity out there whatsoever because they have very limited knowledge, experience and everything else. But that's because we're in the rise of automation. What's the issue though is people like yourself, myself and others that do work and have a career and whatever having to pay twice because we already pay for these people in our taxes. At the same time now if you're unfortunate enough to marry somebody and then get divorced from them you're paying for them again and you're paying for them for the rest of your life and then that pension you're trying to save for so you can have your nice twilight years enjoying life um, half of it disappears to them as well as the end of the working term lump sum and at the same time you're getting told put up shut up and on top of that you're the person in the room yet I find that a lot with socialism it's always you nobody ever looks at themselves and goes you know what maybe I'm being unreasonable here maybe if it was the other way around I wouldn't like it because do you know what when they don't get their own way they're the biggest ones to shout the loudest always doing it thanks for watching